you guys. So in this video, we are gonna learn more about what race condition is and uh, how we can test for race condition vulnerability on web servers or on web target. So race condition exists almost everywhere. Uh, if we Google race condition, the most common example that you can find is of threads. So race condition is also exploited locally to gain root access. Sometimes it's used for privilege escalation. You must have observed offline exploits that take advantage of race condition. So on web servers, you can imagine this thread one and thread two as SCDP request one and SCDP request two. When these two requests hit the server at the same time, this is known as race condition as server is unable to handle both the request and results in unexpected behavior. So imagine using a bank account and you have $100 as a balance on your online banking account. Now, just imagine you send $100 to a friend A and a friend B. So you send that $100 to two different people and because you send it so fast, like because the request hit the server almost on the same time, it can result in very interesting behaviors. And if the server is not prepared to handle uh, fast requests, then it can lead to very critical vulnerabilities oftentimes. We are also gonna solve this lab of web shell upload via race condition. By reading this, we get to know that uh, there is a vulnerable upload function on the lab and uh, the file gets uploaded for a second and then gets validated and then gets removed. Let's try using race condition to... So, cool. we have already created a PHP shell that will get us the contents of this file that is home Carlos secret. Now let's try uploading that file. So if you try uploading shell.php, it doesn't upload, right? It says, this is the HTTP request. Let's send it to repeater. So it says sorry only jpg and png files are allowed but we know due to but we know that uh, the file is getting uploaded on the server side and then immediately getting removed because it's a php file and we learn that through lab description as well not a lot of people test this kind of functionalities like this but yeah uh, that's why we are going to learn it today on how we can use race condition while testing file upload functionalities as well right so the normal image file is uploaded here right so let's assume if shell.php was getting uploaded let's assume if our shell was getting correctly uploaded it would be here right this would be the path now Let's try this get request and this post request that uploads the shell. Let's try to test for race condition then. By taking multiple requests, we will make sure that both of these requests hit the server at the same time so that before our shell gets removed from the server, we can get the content of this, right? Uh, this car loss secret, whatever it is. So yeah. For this, we will use uh, Turbo Intruder. Turbo Intruder is basically a free extension created by James Kettle. Like he's a really great guy, and uh, you can install Turbo Intruder through the App Store. It's a free extension, so yeah, uh, you can do that. Uh, now let's send this to Turbo Intruder sending it to Turbo Intruder, right? Um, so this is something different. So on Turbo Intruder, after sending, in order to send this request to Turbo Intruder, right click on the request, select extensions, Turbo Intruder, send to Turbo Intruder. 
in the last code you like after you send the request to turbo intruder you will see these example features so you don't need to worry about python much because it's really simple only three or four functions are used and you can write your own script very easily and we will be doing that in this video as well so yeah let's see in the examples in the scripts directly you can see that uh, there is race.py so this is the script to basically raise one request i think that is this one but we will write our own script in turbo intruder to actually raise two requests because we need to raise two different requests here guys right so for that we'll have to do some editing here so let's say our request a is uh, we can use triple single quotes for multi line strings and we have to also look out for the indentation right because this is a function and uh, we are in it so of course now first request will be our uploading request so this is it so select all of it and uh, on turbo intruder just paste it what we are doing here is like just uh, pasting the request right after that i'll explain what the code is doing uh, now after pasting first request let's use second request keep in mind the intendation of python right and uh, in the re second request we copy this this is the get request right so we copy this and uh, we paste it uh, so we'll have to do request b so yeah there is request a request b now this is the code for raising only single request right so rather than that we are going to remove this and we are going to edit the this code so let's say i want to raise multiple requests so i'll copy this particular line that is engine.q as we can see from the function it is basically queuing our request right the comments and like other things makes it really easy for us to understand so we'll add the request a here so this will this request will be queued and for i in range 30 uh, now we can edit this as well right because this is the second request so request b so first request gets queued gets into a loop second request gets queued and the comments are very helpful uh, self-explanatory comments now we have 60 seconds of timeout handle response is already there now let's let's see guys right let's try this and uh, attack okay so you have queued more gated requests than concurrent connections so attack will deadlock interesting Try consider increasing concurrent connections. I'm getting an error and it's asking me to increase concurrent connections. So basically concurrent connections are like, you can consider them as threads. Um, so rather than uh, increasing the concurrent connections, I can decrease the number of requests, right? You don't need to raise it 30 times. I can add here like four or like 10 yeah let's try 10 let's see now the concurrent connections are 20 total requests sent 10 and so yeah it already worked right as you can see after getting the response we are able to access the content like on the shell.php now if like this is the content of shell.php right 
and yeah so but now if you take this request onto repeater uh, what do you guys think will happen like because our shell is already deleted but we raised it we managed to raise it for around like nine times so yeah that's that's a good thing we send this request once and this these requests were sent nine times over the server and uh, now it's gone so shell.php is gone now and we managed to like get the response before it was removed by raising the condition right like by doing race condition we managed to send the this particular 403 request and this particular these nine requests at the same time and managed to fetch this as well like the secret right this will solve the lab so without wasting any time let's let's solve it <laughs> uh well what's this uh so yeah let's solve the lab by wasting the response so we did solve the lab now you can like play around with turbo intruder and like it's really good right so just explaining the logic one more time with you guys about the script that we wrote so first in the engine we added this request right request a that was the post request so request a was the request that will upload the shell so we uploaded the shell once and then we sent nine requests like this for loop will run nine requests we queued nine requests with the request b of that get request right and that's how we got the secret key and that's how we executed our shell.php before it was even deleted so now what we'll do is like because some friends told me like you can't raise uh, two requests right so just for fun let's try raising two requests so yeah uh, we'll raise two requests and we'll only send two requests and we will still be able to get the shell that's how precise turbo intruder is right so by hitting two requests we managed to get the response right and this one was even sent before i think it was sent before so <coughs> one got 404 other one got 200 the third one got 403 so yeah uh, this is pretty much it for these conditions i hope you like the video and uh, apart from this like i would also like to introduce you to how you can use turbo intruder for fuzzing and we are also going to try that and like test how powerful turbo intruder is so subscribe to my channel and hop on thank you